for our final performance set, we've saved what I believe are two of the most enjoyable card routines that you can possibly do. These are as far away from the you pick a card and I'll find it type of card trick as you could possibly get while still being able to say that you're doing a card trick. In these effects, the deck becomes a vehicle for theater, drama, and entertainment. Say, <laughs> so if you ever owned a deck of cards and after you played with them for a while, you found some of the cards were missing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That happens to me. Now, now, do you know what happens? Do you know why that yeah, happens? My partner was stealing them. <laughs> no, I know the secret. I know the secret. Every deck has a set of cannibals in it. And that's what happens. <clears throat> no, here, here, I'll show you. You see, uh, I'll take these out. These are the cannibals. That's what the K stands for, of course. Cannibal, right? Now, you know what cannibals eat, don't you? So, yeah. unfortunately, yes. Pygmies. Pygmies are running through the jungle. Cannibals jump on them and eat them. Now, from this virtual jungle of cards, oh. I want you to pull out. If you would pull one out, and if you would, and if you would, we'll get three cards that will represent the pygmies in this particular routine. Just three. I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see how we got. We have the nine of diamonds, the pygmy ten of spades, and the pygmy eight of clubs. Hey, possible straight. <laughs> now here's how it works. See, the cannibals get hungry, see? So they walk through the jungle like a giant mouth till they come up to a pygmy and they go, mmm, smells like eight of clubs. And they go, and they put it into their mouth. And they, they chew and they chew and they chew and they chew and they roll over on their backs, they rub their bellies and they burp. When they open themselves up, of course, they find that the first missionary has completely disappeared. But now... No way. The kings are still hungry, so they go through the jungle like another giant mouth until they come to another pygmy. Mmm, smells like nine of diamonds. And they put it into their mouth, and they chew, and they chew, and they chew, and they chew. They roll over in their backs, they rub their bellies, and they burp. When they open themselves up, of course, they find that the second pygmy has completely disappeared. But now the kings are still hungry, so they go back through the jungle until they find the pygmy ten of spades, and they jump on him put them in the, him in their mouths, and they chew, and they chew, and they chew, and they chew. They roll over on their backs, they rub their bellies, and they burp. When they open <laughs> themselves up, of course, they find that the third pygmy has completely disappeared. But now the pygmies are gone, and the kings are still hungry. So the kings begin to cannibalize themselves. Sad but true. <laughs> the first to go is going to be the king of hearts, just like that first card's completely gone. Mm. The next to go is going to be the king of clubs. Listen to the king of clubs. Listen, you can even hear the bones crunch oh. as the next one disappears. The last to go is going to be the king of diamonds, just like this, the king of diamonds, completely absorbed. The only one that's left now is the king of spades. But if I cut him open down in his stomach, uh. you'll find not only all four kings, but inside of their stomachs, oh. there's the pygmy nine of diamonds, eight of clubs, and the ten of spades. Mm. <laughs> well, so now you know, you'll be able to tell him, you know, that's, if you ever see any cards missing from the deck, you say, yeah, it's that cannibal thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you guys showed me. Yeah, you well, you want to do one more. one more trick. Okay, how about... I, I got to catch you doing something here. Okay, how about this? this? This isn't really a trick, but this is something I've been working on for some time, and maybe you can tell me whether or not I got any hope uh, for this sort of thing. It's kind of an exercise uh, that magicians do uh, to, to test their spontaneity. Now, here's what the, the situation is. You take a shuffled deck of cards, and, you know, and I'll mix the cards up just like this. Okay? And what you try to do is make up a story using every card in the deck. Okay? Now, the only rules are you've got to use all the cards and you have to use them in order and the storyline has to make sense. Okay? So just kind of test your spontaneity. Now, it, it's real helpful for me if I can kind of glance through here and see any note patterns. Like here's a, a few clumped together. I might be able to use that in the storyline. And you see where all the, uh, the face cards sometimes give you some, some plot lines. Okay, using this deck just as it's come out, I'll try to make a storyline and see how far through the deck that I can go while creating a story. Okay. Now, every now and then, I might have to look through the cards, but I won't alter the order of any of the cards. Okay? Let's see where we started out with first. 
Okay, there's the card that's on top of the deck. We'll tell a story about Sam Spade. Okay? okay. Now, Sam Spade was a tall, dark-haired man. <laughs> kind of kind of like you. Okay. Hey, it is kind of like you. Six foot, two inches tall, <laughs> with a pair of powerful forearms. <laughs> this could be you. <laughs> now, Sam's most famous story involved the, threat, the theft of three diamonds. Okay? So when Sam heard about the theft, he goes down to the scene of the crime, which just happened to be 647 West 59th Street, to interview the victim. Well, the victim turned out to be a royal red-haired lady <laughs> who wore a tutu. <laughs> it's just the way it happens, okay? <laughs> and had a very nice pair. <laughs> you, 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 you take them as you get them. Uh, you got to shuffle the cards first. Let's see. Um, let's see. He described, or she, let's see. She described the guy who stole the diamonds as having a, a darkly tinned face. <laughs> He took the diamonds and ran between two trees. <laughs> that was good. Into a club. That was good. Ah, okay. I saw this coming down there. Um, Sam was able to get a table even though the house was full. Oh, no. Get it? Full okay. house to the kings. It says, okay. I'll give you that one. The waitress was a dark haired lady with sixy legs. <laughs> who cleaned his table with Ajax. Ajax? Okay. Sam ordered number three off the menu. <laughs> an eight. Oh, an eight. An eight. <laughs> Just then, the German chef ran out and yelled, nine. German, get it? Nine. <laughs> okay. Sam's face flushed red. Flush? Oh, no. See, he realized he had eaten poison food. Oh, no. But at least he got to see the club's entertainment, which was the Jacks and Five. And that's the oh. whole deck. Cut all the way through. Okay. <laughs>